They're fucking zombies. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Dead Age, a zombie survival, uh, sort of RPG thing. I played just a little bit, a couple of weeks worth, and, uh, we've got some quests that I need to complete. I'm actually really, really enjoying this game, I've put in about three hours to get this far. Uh, you need to balance your rations and your weapons and your materials, so we didn't come back with any rations, we got some materials and some tools. We hunted some rations, however. There are different jobs that people can do. You can craft different items. And then, uh, obviously, your survivors are eating rations every day. And uh, materials and tools, we used up two of those. So, scavengers broke into the, into the camp, but one of my uh, survivors was on guard duty. So, luckily, we only lost one material, two rations, and one tool. Uh, however, the, the guard was injured while defending. Friendly looking fellow visits the camp. He offers to trade. 18 materials. We can get some gold pistol ammo, which probably does some pretty good damage, but I don't have enough materials to do so. So I refuse the trade and uh, say, come on back when you got something else. We recover 20% of our health every single day. And uh, this is Trish, who runs the uh, logistics of the camp, I suppose. She wants us to fix a radio tower. It cost me 50 materials to do that, which is why I'm so low on materials now. Uh, I didn't think you'd pull it off. I'll get everything ready. Give me some time. I'll have you all ready to go by tonight or tomorrow. The tower won't last long, so don't wait. Start. Don't head anywhere else or we'll lose this chance. That's right. So I got to get my uh, people together. We've got Bill. Bill Dotrieve. King of the Hill reference. Jamal is in the group, but I'm going to uninvite him because his... Uh, his combat skills aren't that great. I like somebody with a good melee skill, especially since I'm not very good at uh, keeping people stocked with ammunition. He does have a good amount of ammunition, but it's only in an Uzi, so uh, it would probably be better to stick him on a job somewhere. I think he will be uh, a good hunter, yes. We'll bump that up one more point and accept it, and uh, he can hunt for the night. Hank, let's see, he's got a pretty good uh, melee skill, I do think, yeah. So we'll take him along. Larissa, she is the one that I put on watch the last time, I believe. Unfortunately, not much skill as far as the uh, jobs go, but she could definitely stand guard again. She didn't get too injured, obviously. She'll, she'll hold up for another day. Jamal, I think, uh, yeah, he's on the hunting job. Lydia, what is she able to do? Cunning, that's uh, the guard duty, so we will post her on guard duty, and hopefully that'll do just fine. I think we only have six survivors, plus Trish, who is the logistics lady, so that's why we're using seven rations. Uh, but we look pretty good, all guarded up. You can craft things with the doctor skill, the gunsmith skill, the outfitter skill, and the blacksmith skill. However, um, I don't really have the materials to spare, so I'm not going to do that. Everything that you build costs materials, um, as long as well as something else like shell casings or linens. But we don't have enough right now. I need to go out and collect some materials, so we'll just do just that. Could also talk to Trish about the radio tower. Tell me about the government. Without that tower, we can't contact the outside world. It's falling apart. Close to total collapse if we're doing that quickly. All right. Goodbye. Later. All right, so we're going to uh, go to the map now. You can also buy things at the shop, obviously. Challenges will uh, allow you access to new survivors, but I'm not really gonna fuck with that. The map is where you mostly wanna go, and there are multiple places that you can go on the map. Camp is usually for meeting other survivors. Um, you know, they'll wanna have a date, a picnic or something. Larissa is currently my lady, and then there's Lydia who is uh, Hank's wife, and she also tried to hit on me, but I was like, bitch, you better not ruin the sanctity of marriage. What are you talking about? So I shot her down, and uh, that's why I'm posting her on guard duty. Post them on guard duty together. Maybe uh, they'll talk about Dayton and find out why Dayton rejected one for the other. That's right. He's a good guy. He don't cheat. Anyways, uh, you can see frequent finds in the woods. You find a lot of food material and bullet casings, which uh, seems like a good idea. But for both of our quests, we have to go to the highway at night. The radio tower requires me to get to Area 10, and then I'm supposed to be killing uh, four more zombie cheerleaders. So hopefully we have what it takes. Uh, bullet casings, trap parts, leather clothing in the woods at night. 
camp, ammunition, engineering, and medical supplies. Obviously the best, but you can only do it when you have another survivor uh, who wants to meet you there. Highway during day, medical components, old clothing, old weapon parts. Highway at night, bullet casings, new clothing, new weapon parts. So we will do the highway at night. Obviously there are more zombies there during the night. But that's just fine. This is it. You think to yourself as you sneak through the night towards the radio tower, it's not going to be easy, but everyone's depending on you. Hell yeah, they are. So, when you uh, advance to an area, this is somewhat like a, a couple of games that I've reviewed before. Um, you'll see all of the enemies listed here, and sometimes they might come in wave, and the waves will be listed as well. So we've got zombie cheerleader, a suit, and an undead nurse to deal with. And uh, obviously we could, if I had some medical supplies, they'd be listed on this page and I could use them to buff my dudes up a little bit more. Could change out gear, um, which might be a good idea, except I don't have a whole lot. I will equip this hand brace just for uh, demonstration's sake. And we've got 9% physical defense, which is pretty good. And then some, uh, some resistance. My other characters don't really have clothes on, which might be a mistake. But uh, their health is pretty good compared to mine, I suppose. As long as we're over 300, I'm pretty comfortable. We'll probably take uh, 10 or 20 damage per fight. So we'll see how it goes and uh, keep them fingers crossed. So, every zombie uh, has a special move of some sorts. Obviously, the undead nurse can k heal other undead. And uh, she can also deal poison damage. Zombie cheerleader offers a buff. The suit can bite people or stun a target. Bite obviously causes a little bit of bleeding. Um, my character right now, Dayton, he's the one who's moving first, as indicated by the left top over here. And um, basically I have something in all of the skills. So we've got the melee, obviously the most, um, the most used, just because you're not using ammo for that. Then I've got some handgun stuff, which comes in pretty damn handy. Engineer skill can uh, build traps and things like that. Medic skill, we can do a little first aid on other allies and recover them from stuns. And then we can do combat readiness to uh, get an action point up. And most skills do cost an action point. That's why these two are grayed out. Because I need two, two action points to do so. So I think the first thing we're going to do is just bop this nurse. Boom. That's a lot of damage. Pretty good damage on that girl. And she's down. We are relatively high level for these zombies. Once you get to uh, level 10, things start heating up quite quite a little bit. But uh, I'm not too worried about that for now. I'll work on the zombie cheerleader next because I don't want her to buff the suit. He'll start doing 50% uh, more damage if he gets a buff. So let's, uh, let's try to eliminate the suit for just a couple rounds. Boom. Now he's knocked out. That's going to be quite a good thing. And we can just beat on this cheerleader. He won't be moving for two rounds, which is obviously indicated under his health bar here. K.O. Las Costasis. Good. That's a wonderful thing. All three of these boys have a pretty good uh, melee attack. So that's mostly what we're going to be relying on, just because I like saving that ammo. Uh, I could try to eliminate the zombie cheerleader, but I think I'm going to save it. The uh, other skill that I have for Dayton does more damage when a character is knocked out so I might try to uh, combo that just a little bit that's it exploit vulnerability that's right 120 physical damage against stun targets 60 physical damage normally I'll show what it looks like boop boop I think it does do a little bit more damage than the uh, regular ass melee attack but yeah the combat system is relatively simple um, and I find it enjoyable, even if it is just clicking. I do wish there were some hotkeys, if you could press 1 or something like that to uh, perform the actions and then pick the opponent. It is a lot of clicking, but uh, it's it's kept me sucked in for, for 3 or 4 hours already, so I think that's pretty good. Pretty good in the game. I didn't even notice how long I was sitting here. Uh, we got some new clothing, which is good. Eventually when we get some more materials materials are really what I'm hoping for and then occasionally when you're moving between areas You'll get a random event like this an abandoned rest stop We might be able to find something edible so we will go inside and try and loot We did find some rations, which is just wonderful 
And uh, eight more areas to go, so we'll see how it happens. All right, we have made it to area number nine. We got some steel, which is gonna come in quite handy. Oh, another random event. They do occur relatively often. I will try and loot the van. And we did get some materials. Obviously, I've been stacking some materials along the top of the screen. And we made it! We climbed the tower and prepared for a long night of hard work. It's gonna be worth it, Dayton. Now we can finally find out what's going on. Maybe the government's starting to get a handle on things. I doubt it. All right. This is a huge victory for the camp. Wonderfully done. Although I didn't uh, eliminate all the zombie cheerleaders that I should have. Hooray! We hunted a bunch of rations. We used all the rations we hunted, but we did find some as well. Did somebody steal some stuff during the night? No, they didn't. They got scared off by my two guards. Trish called everyone together in the cantina. You take a seat at the bar while she shakes her blonde hair from her face and tries the radio. Well done, Dayton. This must be celebrated. I have to admit, I didn't think you'd manage. Good thing you're always good for surprises. Quiet, everyone. I think Trish has got some. The radio comes to life as it finds a signal. The station's running a government message on a continuous loop. Please remain calm. On the 27th of July, we'll be evacuating the city. All surviving citizens are called to gather inside the National Bank. Until that time, take precautionary measures. Be assured that the evacuation will take place on July 27th. Military personnel will provide you with assistance upon your arrival. We didn't notice any of this going on. That's day 33 by the camp calendar. That means we need to find a way into the city, Sheriff. Finally, we have something to work towards. The government's gonna save us. Yeah, right. This is why I became a sheriff. Sounds too good to be true. We haven't seen any helpful military so far. The only ones we can rely on are ourselves. That does sound like me. Don't be so pessimistic, Dayton. This is fantastic news. Our new goal is the city. Okay, I'll find a way in. Now we just have to survive until day 33. I'm sick of this. It's their job to help us. I'll try tuning the police radio on an emergency frequency. Thanks again, Dayton. We never could have done this without you. You breathe a sigh of relief. There's finally a light at the end of the tunnel. Hooray! Maybe later. Some punks were sighted nearby. They specialize in breaking and entering. We need experienced guards on duty to prevent harm. I recommend training at least one to expert level. In the cantina, you find an exhausted Trish tending the bar with Bill for company. He turns towards you as you enter. Hey Dayton, I have an idea for the next time you decide to gather rations. Check this out. We head out at night, hit some rest stops. There should be exactly three of us for the job. If you want to know more, Talk to me again. Well, looks like Larissa's leveled up from her uh, little gerby gerb, so that's pretty cool. But first I want to talk to Bill. Search rest stops with Bill and one other companion. Okay. Why does it have to be at night? I made some notes on rest stops we're checking out, but undead tend to gather there during the day. Going after dark makes them safer. Again, yeah right? Can't just the two of us go? Oh, he has a thing for Bill. I mean, I have a thing for Bill. We'll drink beer in the alley and we'll go, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> the points we're hitting may be safer at dark, but the highway's still more dangerous after dark. I don't want to take any chances. All right, I'll find someone to come with us. Later. Hooray! Now I need to go to the uh, jobs page and see what we're looking at. Jobs. Larissa has some, uh, some experience. I do need to get her some medical skill. I will keep those changes. And I'd like to level up the engineer skill as well, so we could make a bear trap. Snap these fucking zombies up in a bear trap, son! Uh, assault rifle is what I'm working on. Unfortunately, I can't take anything away from the handgun level. I've already put some junk in there. That's alright. We'll get that engineer bit up. Just a little bit. It costs so many points a little bit later in the game. But it's worth it. It's fucking worth it. Larissa and Lydia... You're on guard duty. Jamal's our hunter. Uh, who else we got? Yeah, I think everybody else is good. I think we're pretty good. I did get a couple of burgers yesterday, so uh, I'll feed them to myself. To myself! Wonderful. Oh, and you can also see at the top, zombie threat and punk threat. So, uh, unfortunately I didn't kill enough cheerleaders to get the zombie threat down. So we will need to be extremely wary. Highway at night. One more time. One more time. Here we go. Hopefully it's going to go a little better this time. Despite the extra security of an additional companion, Bill shifts nervously from one foot to the other. Are you sure we have enough weapons? I don't want to overestimate our chances. If you're not sure, we should turn back. Those rest stops aren't going anywhere. You sure, Bill, that you have enough equipment to continue? I'm relatively sure. 
Maybe. Oh, we can we can still kill one more zombie cheerleader, and then we'll win. Hooray! I really want that zombie threat to go down, because they will raid your stores and take your food, although I don't know what they'll do with it, because they're fucking zombies. They don't eat that. They eat something different. Two hits will take that guy down. I like that uh, things can't be dodged in this game. Sometimes your enemies will block. There are quite a lot of stats uh, to go over, but that could probably be found on the wiki or something like that. We just play in the game. We just play in the game right now. I don't want to sit here and talk to you about stats and whatnot. That's not interesting. Trip that fucker. Yeah. Now we're not going to be taking any damage from him, huh? We'll be, we should be able to beat him to death in this round. I don't think I need to waste a turn on breakthrough or anything. It's actually not a waste. See, we might have done it if I had uh, decided to break through, but that's okay. He's down. Hooray! Bill has also leveled up. You hear the roar of an airplane in the distance. You look up and see a military plane parachuting crates of supplies. There are also scavengers, which might um, arrive at the drop zone, but we are going to go there as well. I'll kill the scavengers. Ah, and we found a med kit. Wondrous well. That'll come in quite handy. And uh, who leveled up here? Yeah. Bill leveled up. Good job, buddy. I do want to get this next uh, shotgun bit so we can stun some people with the shotgun. And, uh, hmm. I guess melee skill is always good. Job skills are also always good, but um, I tend to take these two boys with me because they have the highest attack rating or melee attack rating. Here's the zombie cheerleader that we need. So, uh, I'll beat up the nurse first, because that seems to be a wise idea. So she can't heal herself or others. Boom! And she's got a relatively low health pool as well, so that's a nice thing. Go ahead and let Hank do the, uh, the honors of lowering the defense of that zombie cheerleader. Hopefully they're not gonna beat up on me too bad. Uh, exploit the vulnerabilities! Bleh! Bleh! KO is different from stunned, as I've come to find out, but that's okay. We gonna beat her down real quick. Blap. Done and done. And then we just got one more boy. One more boy. I'm gonna lower that defense. And we'll see. Oh, good job. Bill. The Billdozer. Feeling of triumph comes over you as you realize you've met your quota and reduced the threat facing the camp. The other survivors will be grateful to you doesn't seem like the threat's gone down quite yet. Maybe it takes uh, one more day. And here's the abandoned rest drop. One of three that I'm supposed to get to. This will be stop number one. It's pretty deserted. Zombies kind of huddle together at night and don't wander so much. This will be our chance to score some loot. Hooray! Only two more to go. But I will stop the episode here, friends. If you'd like to see more Dead Age, please leave me a comment and I will be sure to bring you some. I'm really, really enjoying this game, trying to put a uh, civilization back together and whatnot. So please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you bought the game for yourself. And I think that'll be pretty cool. And if you do any of the above, I will send you a hanger, a plastic one. It's pretty nice. You can't use it to abort babies, though. You need to use the wire one uh, for that. That's not a funny joke, is it? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye